I've been using power pole connectors for well over a decade. They're easy to install and great for your shack, mobile, or portable setup. You can find them used not only in amateur radio, but in model railways, radio controlled cars, planes, and boats, and even amateur astronomy. Larger versions of these connectors are often used in RVs and solar applications. Power poles are genderless and use a flat wiping contact system. The contacts simply push against each other inside of the plastic housings and have a low contact resistance. Also, when you pull them apart, the wiping action between the contacts cleans the contact surface. For ham radio use, power poles use the same housings but have different size pins depending on the amount of current and wire size. For example, 15 amp pins are used for 20 to 16 gauge wire, 30 amp pins are used for 16 to 12 gauge wire, and 45 amp pins are used for 14 to 10 gauge wire. For power distribution to multiple radios and accessories, DX Engineering carries DC outlet panels from West Mountain Radio, Paradin Radio, Soda Beams, and 12 volt power. It's important to use the proper crimp tool, since there is a very tight tolerance inside of the housing. If the pen is distorted in any way, it won't fit. DX Engineering currently has two crimp tools, the DXE UT CRMP2 PWR that is made by DX Engineering, and another from 12 volt power. To install the power pole connectors, we'll need the connectors, a crimping tool, I'm using the DX Engineering crimping tool with the power pole die installed, wire cutters, and a wire stripper. Today I'm using number 12 wire and 30 amp pens. Start by making sure that your wire is the same length. If not, use your wire cutters to trim them. Next, separate the wires and strip each one approximately 3 eighths of an inch. This will give you just enough exposed wire to install the pens. It's a good idea to give the wires a twist so that the strands will all be inside the pens when you install them. Then, slide the pens over the wires making sure that all the strands are inside. An easy way to remember the correct way to install these is, right on the right, with the pen pointing down. With the pen installed on the red wire, insert it into the tool. Make sure that the pen is all the way into the correct position on the die. Squeeze the handles until the tool releases, then remove the pen. Rinse and repeat with the black wire, making sure the pen is oriented correctly. Before I insert the pens into the housings, let's take a quick look at them. You'll notice that the housings have slots on two sides and tabs on the other two sides. This allows for the two housings to be attached together. And if you look at the front of the connector, you'll see that there's a little metal retaining spring where the pen will clip to. So let's go ahead and insert the two pens into the housings. Make sure that the open portion of the housing is on top so you can see the retention spring. When you hear a click, you'll know that the pens were inserted successfully. If you're working with silicone insulated wire, remember that the insulation is very soft, which makes it more difficult to insert the pins into the housings. Another way to install power poles on your wire is to solder them. Just be careful not to get solder on the outside of the pen. There's also one other way to quickly attach power poles to your cable without crimping or soldering. 12 volt power has the PP Quick, which uses the Quick Connect to attach the wires to the power pole connectors. These work with 12 to 18 gauge wires and are rated up to 30 amps. If you're concerned that the power poles may detach, DX Engineering carries retention clips. And if you find that you need to take these apart for any reason, you can use the Anderson Power Pole Extraction Tool or a small thin blade screwdriver. 
And if your application requires different color housings, there are multiple colors available, including yellow, green, blue, orange, and others. And finally, beware of power pole knockoffs. They don't always fit together correctly, and the pens are not the same quality as the Anderson, and they may be more prone to fail. One thing to keep in mind with power poles is that over time they can oxidize. If you see a voltage drop or things just quit working, a great way to resolve this is to spray a little deoxid on the connectors. Overall, power pole connectors are a great solution no matter how you operate. They're easy to install and make it easy to distribute power to multiple radios and accessories. Hey, thanks for watching today. I'm Michael, KI8R, and we'll catch you on the next one.